So, you want to stack some silver. And I mean really stack it. Coins are not going to cut it. What you need are some silver bars. But there's so many to choose from. How do you know what size to get? What brand? What dealer? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a look at a few of the different silver bar options available on the market. And also, I'm going to show the newest addition to my stack and reveal to you what kind of silver bars I am currently stacking and where you can find some of the best deals on these amazing pieces of treasure. So, let's get to it. Hey everybody, Smart Silver Stacker here. First of all, I do want to say a big thank you to all of you Silver Stackers out there for tuning into today's video. And if you enjoy it and you get some value from it, please do give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you'd like to see more videos about stacking and investing in silver, then why not subscribe to the channel? All right, silver bars. These are by far one of my favorite ways to stack physical silver bullion. And today, in 2022, when premiums are getting out of control, when a one ounce silver eagle is selling for $30, when the spot price of silver is at 18 bucks, and when 90% constitutional silver coins, you know, junk silver, it's selling for a 30% premium over its melt price, silver bars are even more important than ever for us stackers. Now, why stack silver at all, you might ask? Well, that's something that I have covered in depth in many videos on this channel in the past, so if you really want to hear my full rationale, I suggest you subscribe and check those out. But the quick version is this. We have got out-of-control inflation. We have got staggering debt levels. And we have a growing global trend towards de-dollarization. In fact, it was just reported the other day that Russia and China have now agreed to transact their trade in natural gas in rubles and yuan, and in addition to that, even NATO member Turkey has now agreed to pay for a portion of its gas in rubles. And it's not just the systemic risks to the dollar. What's more, we have got paper markets here in the West that we know are used to manipulate the price of metals, likely to the downside. Traders at J.P. Morgan were recently found guilty of manipulating the gold and silver markets in a spoofing scheme that went on for several years. And remember when the LBMA, that's the London Bullion Market Association, froze the nickel market and suspended trading back in March, all to save their billionaire crony who had gotten caught in a massive short squeeze? Yeah, well, that same LBMA is going to have some competition now as Russia and the BRICS nations are proposing an independent international precious metals exchange outside of the control of Western banking interests. Now, I've been saying for a long time that to whatever extent the metals are being held artificially low through manipulation, the actual physical metal is going to move that much higher when the manipulation finally ends. And the creation of an independent exchange like that could quickly unravel any price suppression scheme in the metals markets. So I think that right now silver at today's prices is a steal considering the overall financial and geopolitical picture. And that's why I have got some skin in the game here and I am stacking physical metal. And right now silver bars really are the last refuge for stackers seeking to pick up some low premium silver. And sovereign coins? Forget about it. Even maple leaves right now are selling for $7 to $8 over the spot price. And I know you might find some kind of a deal or a sale out there, but when a 25% markup over spot for a Canadian maple leaf is the good deal in the market, you know it's time to look at some other options. And you might think, well, at least there's always those one ounce generic rounds. Those are always cheap, right? Well, not so fast. Today, generic silver rounds they have between a 4 to $5 markup over spot per round, and at today's prices, that is more than a 20% premium. So why are silver bars any better? Well, typically, silver bars are larger than coins and rounds. They have more weight to them. And sure, there are one-ounce bars out there. I even have a few, but for most purposes, I don't really bother with these. That's why today, we're going to be focusing on the larger silver bars. And I can remember a time when a large silver bar like this sold at the spot price with no premium at all. But those days are gone, it seems. However, bars like this still represent one of the most affordable ways to stack physical silver. And there is a very simple reason that these larger forms of bullion carry a lower premium than their smaller counterparts. 
And that is that when a Boolean product is being created, there is often a fixed cost associated with the production of each individual unit. And for that reason, it is easier to produce a 10 ounce bar, for example, than 10 one ounce rounds. And the same goes for kilo bars or 100 ounce bars and even larger, just more so. Now, the downside is that these big silver bars, they're not so divisible. So when you go to sell them or trade them or however you end up disposing of them, you have to do it all at once. So I do think it is advisable if you are a new stacker to bite the bullet and pay the premium and stack some one ounce rounds or some junk silver or some silver eagles or whatever type of small divisible silver product catches your fancy. Because I do think it is wise to have at least some of that on hand. But once you have some easily divisible small silver pieces and you are comfortable with that position, the size of which, by the way, is going to be different for everyone and should be entirely determined by your own unique situation and goals, you may then want to consider focusing your stacking efforts on some bars to ensure that you are getting the most ounces for your money from that point forward. Now, what are the best silver bars to be stacking right now? Well, as always, none of this is financial advice, but I did just happen to receive an order from SD Bullion. So why don't we go ahead and open that up and I'll show you what I am stacking at the moment. Okay, so I finally got that open and here I'm gonna show you my recent addition. It is a one kilo bar of silver. And huh, look at that, this matches these 10 ounce generic Eagle bars that I have. Now I've got a one kilo bar. And so I knew this was gonna be a kilo, but the listing was for a pattern of SD Bullion's choice, kind of a grab bag. So this is great. I'm really happy with this bar. I like these Eagle bars. There's kind of a simplicity to them, which I appreciate. And uh, as you can see, there's nothing too fancy about this bar. It is just generic bullion. And you know, I'll handle this without gloves or whatever. I'm not too worried about it because this bar is valuable, not as a collectible piece or because of its beauty or anything like that. Although it is cool, you know, make a cool paperweight, I guess, if you wanted to have some big money on your desk. Uh, but overall, this is just valued for its silver weight. So I'm not too worried about that tarnishing, anything like that. That's kind of a nice thing about stacking these silver bars. And the reason I went with this kilo bar was really just the pricing. SD Bullion was having a sale where this bar was available for just $2.49 over the spot price of silver. And to me, in today's environment, that is a pretty good deal. And that specific sale is over now, but you can find similar pricing if you take the time to shop around. If you're looking for a bullion dealer with good pricing, a few that I have been using recently are SD Bullion, Money Metals Exchange, Atmex, and Hero Bullion. And I'll put links to them down in the description. And you know, just for full disclosure, some of those links are affiliate links. So if you use those and then you make a purchase, I may receive a small compensation for that and no extra cost to you. So it is a win-win and it helps support the channel and anyone who does that, I greatly appreciate it. And if you're looking for a sale going on right now, at the time I am recording this video, SD Bullion does have some 100 ounce bars, which are available right now for $1.99 over spot. So again, pretty good pricing. And I'll put a link to that specific sale in a pinned comment down below for anyone who wants to take advantage of it. And one thing that you will notice is that both of these sales are on big silver bars, kilos and 100 ounces. And that is what you are going to find in today's environment, so it seems. Five ounce bars and 10 ounce bars and 20 ounce bars like these, they may have a slightly better premium on them than say a one ounce round, but still I have not seen a 10 or a 20 ounce bar for $2.49 over spot in some time. So if you are shopping for value and you want the most silver for your money, at least for the time being, it seems like kilos and 100 ounce bars are gonna be your best bet. And one other thing that I did pick up in this order, kind of just for fun, was this five ounce Aztec calendar round. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you've definitely seen this guy, my one ounce Aztec round with Kuantamolk on there and the Aztec calendar on the reverse, because this is my pocket silver piece. So sometimes if I just want to shoot a video really quickly, this is the guy that you're going to see. And when I saw that Golden State Mint had produced a five ounce version, I just kind of had to add that to the stack. And I'm sure you'll be seeing more of this guy in future videos. 
And you know, I'm okay with having this five ounce round in this video about silver bars because honestly, once you go over one ounce, is it really a round or a coin anymore? This thing feels a bit more like a bar if you ask me. But you wouldn't know it from the pricing. I paid about $24 an ounce for this round, which I'm okay with. You know, I just wanted to get one for fun and it's still another five ounces in the stack. But it goes to show that if you want decent pricing, you got to get the big pieces of silver. So that is what I am primarily stacking right now. What about you? Are you adding to your stack in today's market? And if so, what are you stacking? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to know what you have to say. And I do also just want to say a big thank you to all of you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe and happy stacking. And I will catch you next time. Smart Silver Stacker, out.